Hope you're having a great weekend. It's our Week in Review. A look back at some of the most compelling stories, conversations that we've had throughout the week. Hope you enjoy. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. I'm finding it very interesting listening to these Alec Murdoch phone calls from jail. Granted, they are from a little ways back, but they really give you a candid look at how he was interacting when TV cameras weren't on in the jail. He knew these calls were being recorded, but his behavior just fascinating. I'm, I'm so fascinated just by the the MO of these people, the psychology of them, and how they're able to operate the way that they do. I think the more we dive into this, the more I have questions than answers, but it is fascinating nonetheless. What we have here is a call from Alec Murdoch talking about uh, co-defendants, uh, PMPED, and other things uh, on a phone call to his brother, John Marvin, while in prison. This uh, phone call re uh, retrieved by the Freedom of Information Act, originally published by uh, Fitz News. Take a listen. Hey, John, is Lizzie nearby? She is. She, I talked to her earlier. She was going to put some money on that account for me, and she didn't. Okay, well, what is it? This is, this is where she knows what to do. The boy's name is Justin Lucas. Okay. And what, what, what is it, though? It's putting, it's putting money on. He doesn't get canteen, so I give him some of the money, and he orders canteen. So I, I'm having okay, to order what? thermals and all that. I, I'm having to order ibuprofen because I'm exercising, and my knee and my shoulder, and hell, ibuprofen's $15 on there to get a week's supply. I got you. So it gives me extra canteen. I got you. And he doesn't get one? No, he doesn't He doesn't get any, so she put it on his account. We just did it one time. We did it last week, and I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. But I need her to do it right now. All right. And what's the amount? $60. Okay. And she's supposed to be keeping track of all this so I can make sure and pay you back. Ten four. Well, I'll get her. She's putting the kids down right now, putting Randolph down with lots of grace. How long do you think she'll be? Four or five minutes. Okay, because we have like, I don't know, we have like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Right. At most. Well, I'll get her right now and, and ask her. You don't mind? Buster's staying in Brooklyn tonight, right? Yeah, he is. All right, well, Jim and Dick are working hard, so... What are they? What are they working on? I mean, are, are all have all the charges been brought forward? On? See, that's what I don't know. I, I don't know that yet. I don't know. I suspect that if they're doing like they've done everything else, they'll sit and wait till something else comes up and then do some more charges. Right. But I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Did you have you talked to Randy since last week? Yeah, I talked to him. Um, I talked to him yesterday. Okay. Yeah, you know about the law firm, don't you? No. Yeah, the law firm is has dissolved, and they're reforming under a new name. I didn't know nothing about that. What is that? Yes, because of all the negative publicity and all the stuff they're going through. What is the new name? Um, they operate under the what? The law. It's, it's going to be operated under the Parker Law Group. The what? Parker Law Group. Simple. And then I think each one of them kind of opens up an LLC partnership or LLP in each each partner's name and operates under the, the Parker Law Group heading. I hate to having to go through all that. Yeah, but they they catch them. They go into all kinds of stuff. Is there anything I can help with? No, nah, man. You know, I suspect when the time is right and the things that that you acknowledge, uh, I think opening up about it to the general public. Because that's why there's a lot of people that just think that you're trying to dump everything. Leave, leave, you know, 
you know, I mean, obviously Corey's been fired. I mean, you knew about that, didn't you? Been what? Corey has been fired. Legitimately for real or just? I, I understand he's, they, they've removed the name from the law firm, removed the name from the sign out front, and he's not working. I knew he had some issues with the license, but no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's permanent or unless it's a temporary deal, or I'm not, I, I don't know, but I, I suspect it's more permanent. I just think that the, talk to Jim and Dick, and, and I think that, that you talking talking about certain things is going is going come you know coming back and talking about it is going to make a difference. It's got to. I mean that's the only thing that can make a difference. I think. What do you mean talking about what? You know, if, if you've been charged with something that you that you did. Acknowledging and accepting it and, and making clear of who didn't do anything. So but obviously only, the only if there's something. something. Oh, there's people saying that the law firm's done all kinds of stuff. There's, there's people saying, Ella, it's, it's amazing what's going on. They're saying that the law firm has done all kinds of stuff. They're saying that Corey, Chad, Russell, Chris, you name it, and, and everybody's implicated. Now, this isn't coming from law enforcement, to my knowledge. This is just rumor on the street. I mean, I said when it has been there's been no talk whatsoever from anybody in an official capacity. So, you know, I, I just think it'll make a difference. It, it, well, it when, I, when I talked to the court the other day, one of the things I said was, you know, my partners didn't know anything. And I said, Chris and Corey, you know? Yeah, you know, you know I, 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 did they I not bring any of that? No, I meant very little of that was said because they couldn't report it. There was some of it that was brought back out, but I don't know. That's what we're talking to Dick and Jim about to, to see if, I don't even know if there's any way to give an official statement. Or, I don't know. That's that, They got to figure all that out of it. But they, they don't have the same issues that, that Rand in the firm and everybody else has. They don't what? They aren't having the same issues. Who is it? There's more perception than anything in my, at this point. Who isn't having the same issues? Dick and Jim. I mean, they, you know, they're, they're, they're looking at it from a whole different perspective. You know. They're doing it from a from a way that they they manage it. That's that's just what they do. They know how to manage what they're handling. I need to I need to sit down with them and figure out what I can do. Is what I need to do. Well, it'd be worth a conversation with them to find out for sure. And it may not matter. I I, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like that's about the only thing left that. You know, I just, and I just don't know the manner to do it. And you only do it if it's something that, that you did or, or, or need to say. I mean, obviously, if it's something that you weren't involved with, you know, certainly say that. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast. With Tony Bruschi. You just, oh, spooky like you're hearing the voice of a demon or something. I don't know. It's just what they're able to do and say and how they can keep going along with it. It's creepy, creepy stuff. I have one more that uh, I can dig up here and we can uh, share with you uh, as well. If you are enjoying the show, be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts. You don't miss any of our breaking updates on the stories that we're covering for you. Well beyond the Alec Murdoch trial, you can find the complete list in the episode description below. I'm Tony Bruski. Stay with us.